Hi everybody. This is Michelle Litwiller. It is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019, and I am here for your weekly Facebook Live. Okay, we're a few minutes later. It's about 8.11. I was having, I started this and then all of a sudden I had no internet. So when you get here, you can hop on and say hi. We have uh, restarted the computer. We've restarted the internet. So hopefully everything is good to go now. So hi, Karen. Hi, Linda. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can click that little bell so you get notifications. And if you haven't liked my Facebook page, you can do that also. And thanks for joining if you're watching the replay. All right, I see some people are finding me. Again, the internet can be so, so fun sometimes. So, hi, Ann. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for sharing also, Jennifer. Okay, so tonight I have two 3D Halloween items that we're going to make and a Halloween card. And I have my holiday catalog opened up to the Monster Bash Suite. I'm going to be using some of these items, but we have some really fun Halloween items this year. If you haven't paid attention, um, this uh, bundle, the Spooktacular Bash, is really cute, and the Monster Bash paper. I'm going to be using this uh, embossing folder right here. It's called Stylish Scroll. And some of this ribbon and we're going to use one of these coffin treat boxes tonight and then uh, we have did you see there's black dimensionals I'm going to be showing you those tonight as well and then over on this page we're going to be using some googly eyes and I think that Oh, and then we're going to be using our Apple Builder Punch also. And this cute little thing up front, let me show you. The mini curvy keepsake box. So it's right here with the snowman. It's called Tiny Keepsake. So this stamp set and then this uh, cute little mini curvy keepsake. Here's a stamp set here. And we're going to make a Halloween little box here too. So anyway, I wanted to show you where all these products were in here because we have a lot of fun to show you. And all of these projects that you're going to see tonight, I am offering at a Halloween class on Monday at 6.30 p.m. at my Davison studio. You're going to get to make four Halloween cards, four different cards, and four different Halloween treat holders. So ready here is the first one we're going to get started with and it is that mini curvy keepsake box dies so it comes like this and inside so we used to have a regular curvy keepsake box and you ran it through twice and you layered it together and it was really cute and it retired this it, you can get two on one sheet of cardstock and it cuts out in one giant piece, like just one whole piece. So that's really cool. And I cut this out in Grapefruit Grove. And then do you see this cute little tag here? It has little stitching around it. This is in Granny Apple Green. But inside here are lots of little tags and some greenery and a snowflake, a heart. So really cute dies. So I went ahead and cut that out already and the stamp set that coordinates with that is the one we're going to be using and it is right here and we're going to be using this stripe to make a background. There is like a little buffalo check and then you can stamp some of these to make the little tags and there's a little snowflake as well and there's a die to cut that out. So the my stamp is in here. And I need a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to be using Grapefruit Grove ink onto the Grapefruit Grove cardstock. And I did one in pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie ink and cardstock and it turned out really cute. So I'll show you that one as well. But I um, liked this because it was a little bit lighter 
And so the little pumpkin face that you're going to see in a minute shows up a little bit brighter, I think. And so okay, I'm just putting my stamp on the block and I'm just inking this up. And I'm going to try to get my stamp close to the bottom score line there. When I made my sample, it did go over on this piece a little bit, but once the box is put together, you can't really see. So I'm just going with it. So we're going to stamp that like that. Look at how cute that is. And I'm going to go across to the other side and stamp that. And then we'll do these ends. So this is just an easy way to decorate a little Kirby Keepsake box and a fun little uh, treat holder. So this is what it looks like when you're all done stamping it. Um, now we're going to make it a pumpkin. So I took my one of my favorite stamp set, the Harvest Hello, this Hello's, it's plural, was my online class last month. And see, it has a cute little pumpkin face, so we're going to use this one. This little pumpkin face with some Memento black ink. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp it on um, right here, kind of like in the center. So I am working on my online class for this month, so that should be coming out soon. And if you haven't signed up for my Owlette Card Club, if you missed the first month, you can still join. You can still join now and get in on the fun on that as well. You have until the 10th. So here's our cute little pumpkin. And then you're just going to fold up your score lines. And then this top here, it has a little line where it bent, where it like kind of folds down. And... You can, so you'll want to put like your little treat in here. I've heard it holds like some Hershey Kisses. I'm going to put some Jolly Ranchers, like the little Jolly Ranchers, but I left them upstairs. So I'm just going to, then this just goes over. You can like put your little candy or treat in there. Um, Memento is, um, Memento is good for paper and to use with the alcohol markers Ruth asked does memento bleed or smear it does not with on paper or on with the alcohol markers but now if you're gonna stamp it on like a window sheet yes it will smear for a window sheet or other different things you need to use stays on black ink okay so here's our little pumpkin we're not done though he needs a little tag so I have my little tag here, and then, I know, I'm going to be totally not me. I'm using all different kinds of stamp sets tonight, which normally I stick to one, but because we're doing all kinds of fun Halloween, the next stamp I grabbed, it says Trick or Treat, and it is from, actually, this is a stamp set I'm using for my Owl at Card Club, Birds of a Feather, and it has Trick or Treat. And it's because this guy's for tricker for Halloween, Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, and a heart for Valentine's Day. So this is what we'll be featuring on my Owlet Card Club. And we're going to be using the sentiment right here. Now you can use anyone. You could use um, Sweet Tree or For You out of the same stamp set. But I wanted it to say Trick or Treat. So we're going to ink this up and stamp it towards the bottom of our thing like that and the next thing we're going to do is take some ribbon for the top here now did you know with our ribbon some of them you can change the color with our alcohol markers let me see if i can show you so literally this week i cleaned off my table and today I've already destroyed it. And like a matter of like minutes, it is totally, totally messy again. How does that happen? It's because I'm trying to design everything for, oh, here it is, for next 
for Monday, anyway. Okay, so I have this white metallic silver ribbon. And so if you wanna change the color, you can take your blends. You're gonna to wanna to take the brushed end and then you can gently go like this and change your ribbon to any color you want. Do you see how it does that? Like so cool. So if you want a specific color ribbon and we don't carry it, this is a way to make it whatever color you want. And so that's really fun. And it really, with our blends, it went through the back. It totally perfect. So that was Bermuda Bay. And you could um, tie that on there just like that. I'm going to cheat. I actually have some retired ribbon in the Coastal Cabana that's very similar to this. Um, so I'm just actually going to tie this on. I never use retired products. Once they retire, well I do, I use them for my craft shows all the time, but this is, anyway, I just know this is going to, I can have, make a bow and it's blue. But if you don't have this, you can do this in any color and it's kind of cool with your markers. Has anyone ever tried that before? I haven't in a really long time. So I'm just tying this cute little bow with um, my pumpkin. Remember this ribbon was reversible. So it has the granny apple green in it. I'm gonna take my scissors and snip, snip it off. And then I have some white baker's twine and we're gonna take that for our little tag to dangle. And I'm just, um, see I folded the ribbon in half, the twine, and I'm just sticking it through that loop. And then uh, Linda said she colored it with the polka dot, what a mess. This wasn't messy at all. Like I'm surprised at how it wasn't messy. It really wasn't messy at all. And didn't leave hardly any on my thing there. So maybe you just need this satin ribbon. Okay, so, and I love, I don't get me wrong, I love my retired products, but in classes I never, I only use current because I know that's what we carry and we can sell. So I wanted to show you a fun way to color your ribbon. Okay, so then I have my little tag on there. Isn't that cute? A cute little um, treat holder, trick or treat. So there's that one. That's in the Grapefruit Grove. And then I did do one in Pumpkin Pie. So it's a little bit darker. And so on this one I did a white tag and I took the little leaf punch and I added that on. So there's uh, two different little holders. And sweet and simple and easy to make. Here's another one. See, I really did, I've been making, I made a lot of these. So I hope you like that one. Oh, I see my friend Susan is on here. And Susan made, she took the same die and made this adorable thing that I'm about to show you. So I did not make this. Susan made this and gave it to me last night and I just had to share it with you. Look at she cut that out with black and made a little um, spider. Isn't that so cute? Can you see his eyes and his head is like a little wobbly and she used the holiday rhinestones. So this one we're not making on Monday, but I just really wanted to show you how cute it was. And she had it so it this one would stand up, but I think on the way home it got the legs got bent a little, but there's another little cute thing you can make um, with your Kirby Keepsake box as well. So the next thing we're gonna make is a Halloween card. So let's make that. And I am starting out with Mango Melody. Again, a little bit brighter of a orangish yellow color. And I'm folding this in half. 
And then I went ahead and cut another piece of Mingo Melody that is five and a quarter by four. And I ran it through that new embossing folder that's in with the Halloween stuff. Do you see how cool that is? It's really, really neat. And so I'm gonna layer that down um, onto here. And I'm gonna show you a cool way to use your, um, so then I have this paper from the Monster Bash. It's three by three, and I have basic black that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And that's just gonna get layered on like so. And then we're gonna make the cutest little Frankenstein. And then this is going to come over here. Okay, we're cruising along with this card. All right, the next thing I went ahead and did is I punched out two apples, one in granny apple green and one in basic black. So you can see this is with our apple builder punch. So I just punched two of those out. And then I'm gonna take this black one and I'm going to make, I'm trying to look at my sample so I can try to do it like my sample. I'm going to cut, can you see what I'm gonna do? I said I'm gonna make a Frankenstein. So I'm gonna cut him some hair. Hopefully I can do this on live. Geez, when the internet went out, it just can make you all frazzled. We, last week we didn't have internet for three days at my house and first day was fine. Second day, I mean the kids were, my kids thought they were pioneers. Um, they were going crazy. By the end of the second day, I was starting to go crazy. And um, by the third day we were done. We're like, okay, we need some Wi-Fi because our Wi-Fi controls our TV as well. So we couldn't, we didn't have any TV, no internet, no video games, like nothing, um, which is fine, but it was also over towards the end of the week and the weekend. So, I mean, the kids, and it was raining here, so the kids couldn't play outside anyway. I don't know. My internet was is still acting up. So here is our, the start of our Frankenstein. And then we're going to grab those googly eyes. So they come in a package like this and they have different colors in here. So I don't know if you can see, but there's, it looks like Mango Melody or there's a yellow and green and purple and white. And I'm going to take um, two uh, of the bigger white ones. It looks like they have different sizes too. So I'm taking two of the bigger white ones that I can find. Now you could use any of them. Um, and then we're going to grab some mini glue dots and stick his eyeballs down. Okay. Whoops. Come on. So they, the bigger ones are like the perfect size for a mini glue dot. And I'm going to stick one eyeball there and one of his eyes over here like this. And then I have my um, my Stampin' Up uh, journaling pen. These are in the back of our annual catalog. And I'm going to do this little like, whatever that the Frankenstein usually has, that little thing. And then I'm gonna give him a little smiley face and he needs a nose. So for the nose, do you think, I literally cleaned my table off, like I said, so I got rid of all my scraps. So I have a whole sheet of paper to cut a tiny little nose. This is grapefruit, or gorgeous grape. I've used grapefruit earlier. And I'm just cutting a little tiny triangle, like just freehanding it for his nose. And gorgeous grape. And I'm going to put that down with another little mini glue dot. So if you just joined me, um, you can go ahead and watch the replay at the end to see the first project I made. I'll show you all of them at the end also. Thanks for joining me and sharing this everyone. I appreciate it. So here he is so far. Now you know how the Frankenstein usually has the things coming out of his neck? 
I always thought they came out of his head. And my friend told me they're actually supposed to come out of the neck. So, and this is not my idea. She took, this is my friend Jennifer, took, oh boy, what did I do with that? Just when I think I'm organized. Nope. Okay. So silver foil, you need some silver foil. I had a perfect half inch strip a strip of silver foil and then you're going to grab your light bulb is that what this is called builder punch um and you're going to punch out two of these for the little neck thing okay so this is going to slide in and then you can punch one out and then slide it over and punch another one out Okay, and then on the back, I'm going to just add a little bit of glue and stick those down. So I just put glue on the back there, and then these little things I'm going to stick like that. Okay, does he look like a Frankenstein? <laughs> and then I just have a smoky slate circle that I cut out with the layering circles and I'm gonna grab my black dimensionals maybe here they are so the black dimensionals come in a package with two sheets of the full size and two sheets of the mini so you get four sheets two and two and I'm gonna put one on the back here so see they're black so then um they kind of good for dark cardstock anyway so he's gonna come here like that and then i have a one inch strip of pumpkin pie and i am having my happy halloween right here and this is from yet another halloween stamp set i like halloween guys Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> from Wonderfully Wicked, Happy Halloween. And just need a little bit of ink. We're almost done with this card. And we're going to stamp this here. Again, you can use any Halloween stamp thing that you want. It is, um, thanks, thanks. I'm glad you guys think this is so creative. Uh, I didn't, it's not my original design. I saw this on the internet, but I, that's why I love, uh, when people share their ideas, it's just so cool what people come up with. Cause I look at that apple builder punch and I see an apple, maybe a pumpkin, not a Frankenstein, but somebody else saw a Frankenstein. So I'm so happy I can share that with you. And then this is going to go right in there. And I did change up a little bit and made it my own, but... So fun. I love, love uh, making cards and projects. And I would love to have you come make them with me. So then I'm going to put him right here like that. And then we're going to take a little bit of ribbon. And this time I'm going to take, um, I'm taking the new one in the holiday catalog. This basic black scalloped edge. So all I'm doing is I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie a knot. And just, just like that. You're going to trim your edges. So again, if you want to make this cute card, you need to sign up to come to my class on Monday at 630. And you're going to get to make three other cards and four treat holders. All Halloween themed. It's going to be amazing. You're going to want to be there. And then this just goes right there like that. So here is our card. What do you think of our little Frankenstein card? You can let me know while I clean up a little bit and get ready for our last project. Okay. Ooh, we have... Um, all right, so this is 
We're going to be moving on to our next project. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the card. I can see your hearts coming up. Thank you. So our next thing we're going to do is a coffin. And these are so cool. They're coffin treat boxes. And you get 12 of them in a package. And I think they're like $7. So... I think they're a really good deal. So you're gonna take out the top and the bottom. So they come already pre-cut, pre-scored. Doesn't get much better than that. And so all we're gonna do is fold on these score lines. So um, you can just bear with me while I do this really quick. But these are really fun. Okay, so we got that one all folded. So if you missed the beginning, I see Carol said ha that she just hopped on. You can uh, watch the replay, and all my videos are over on my YouTube channel as well, which is Owl Star Stampers on YouTube. So you can always catch them, or if you've just found me, I have several years of videos over there. So we folded all these, and then on these little tabs here and here and here, that's where we're gonna put the glue. So I will show you. Um, where did my glue go? Again, you're doing a box, so you want to put like some stronger, stronger glue. So tear tape is great. Mine is um, over here somewhere. I'm cheating right now. So we got glue there, and then we're gonna put some glue on these tabs right here, and we'll put. This is the bottom of the coffin. So then you're just going to pull this side up and pull this side up so like that's that and then this one goes here this is so easy to put together and then this goes here and look our bottom of the coffin is already put together so just like that now we're going to do the top the same way it just is like these little there's only a little bit of glue that you need to um, attach this with the liquid glue if you like that would also be a great option to put um, this little box together so it's just not a lot and then we're going to decorate it and we're going to be using the monster bash stamp set and those dies and some of the black organdy glittered ribbon, which is really sparkly. So there's our lid. Now again, you can add your little treat inside and this perfectly closes just like that. So now we gotta decorate it. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab that ribbon I was talking about and we're gonna just tie it around and just tie it in a knot. And again, you can use any ribbon that you like and this is really quick and easy, Carol. Um, it's like my kids could help put these together. They're, they're really great. So we're just going to tie that and trim the end off like that. So, oops, there you go. Can you see the sparkle? And then the next thing we're going to do is grab that stamp set, the Monster Bash or Spooktacular Bash, and I stamped this one in basic black, or the Memento on Whisper White, and I cut it out with the framelit that coordinates with it, which are these ones right here. They have lots of cool frames in here. You can tell I've been using them. So this is the one that cut it out. And then, do you see these? They have, they're more intricate. So I took this one and cut this out with Smoky Slate. So I already went ahead and did that for you so you didn't have to watch me do that. Whoops, I do not want to lose that. So I have them right here. Voila! Do you see that? So I am going to take some of my blends a little bit and color this guy in. He's like a mummy. And so, but I grabbed a couple of colors so I did his face in the background like green like he's a little monster or something 
This is a Granny Apple Green light. Then I took my light smoky slate and I just took and went along some of these lines, just no rhyme or reason, and just put a little bit of the gray in here just so it wasn't so white um, like this. And then I took the dark purple posy. Oh, by the way, purple posy ink pad is back in stock. They have it fixed. It's one of our in colors. So if you did not get that ink pad or the re-inker, it is available now. Also, all of our embossing folders are back in stock. So I know some of the carried over 3D ones we haven't had. And then some came... Some still weren't available. They're all available now also. So I'm just going around the edge of this. And again, you could pick whatever color you wanted. I just picked the purple posy because I wanted a little bit of purple. I like purple with Halloween colors. And then we're going to layer this onto that smoky slate one. Okay, so let me show you this up close. Can you focus? I don't know if you can see. I'll take a picture and I always post the pictures on my blog as well because sometimes it's hard to see with the lighting and everything. So I'm going to take my black dimensional and stick it on here. And then this is so cool because it layers right on that like that. And then I'm going to take another black dimensional and put, I want to make sure I got the one at the top and one at the bottom. And then uh, this will go, slide this over. So I'm making sure that my dimensionals are sticking on the top of the lid and not the ribbon. So I'm just going to be sticking this on here like this. And then the ribbon is like that. So there we have it. Here is our other little treat box. So this we are making on Monday as well. So if you uh, want to come to that class, you're going to get to make these two little treat boxes. Here's two of the four. And then you are going to get to make um, this card as well. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little Facebook Live tonight if you want to order any of these products here is the October host code so I do this is the new host code so you can uh, go over and order any of your products that you need out of if you need Halloween stuff or Christmas or anything you can go over there and order that and thank you for bearing with me with my internet issues we made it through and uh, I just hope you enjoy and like these cute little Halloween treats holders and cards. I will be back next week to craft with you again. Have a great night and thanks for sharing this everybody. Bye.